Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is a take a test. I'm going to pull up this video and I'm going to try to share this brother's message he got from the Lord. It's titled Word, My Secrets, 144 and Angels. This is seven minutes and three seconds long and it is very interesting indeed. Let me let you listen to a little bit and then you can click on the link in the description box to get it all, okay? All right, here we go. God bless you, siblings. I have another word I've been sitting on this. Since I hope you can hear him. That's as loud as I can make it. Etc. Etc. Um, so God bless you guys. Take this to the word to the Lord. Um, some of you will, this will sit in your spirit. So let me begin. My son, I will begin to use you to tell my children my secrets. Speak my words. Some of my secrets are not in scripture. As these are secrets I have been keeping hidden. I have been kept hidden. Sorry. But now is the time to release these. Even you will be amazed and baffled at what I reveal to you. Okay. I'm going to stop it because my computer speakers are so low. You might be picking it up okay on the mic, but this is a test. I just downloaded a new version of OBS called Streamlabs OBS because my other OBS got messed up somehow and I didn't know how to fix it, so I uninstalled it. Went to reinstall it, and this is what came up. So uh, this is a test to see if it works. And I want you to hear this because he's, he goes on to explain like... Uh, about the 144,000, 144,000, the bride of Christ, the first fruits, spoken of in Revelation 14, chapter 4. He says, the Lord is saying to this man in the message that some of his, what he is saying is not found in the Bible. Why would that be? Let's go back to Daniel wasn't Daniel told to seal up these words until the time of the end? Because they are for a time at the end. And in the book of Revelation, John was given some visions and he was told to eat the book. It'll be sweet in your mouth and bitter in your stomach. Remember that? So those two references in the Bible tell us that those two prophets of God received words that were not allowed to be written down for anyone to know until Jesus was ready to reveal them through his prophets. If that's so really hard for you to understand and, and believe can happen, that you think every single word that comes out of a prophet's mouth has to be backed up by scripture or you can't accept it, well then you're just missing out because with God all things are possible and he could certainly tell us new revelations that are not found in the Bible. And those are two references right there to the Word of God in Daniel and again with John in the book of Revelation that we know there were words or visions given that they were not allowed to reveal yet. So with that, I'm going to pull this. Let's see. Let me see. I think you pull this up. I'm going to stop recording and see what happens. Okay. Okay. 